time to debunk two things. One is that women are afraid of men. They aren't. They're fearless. They don't, we're not, they're not afraid of us at all. And two, they, uh, they are the violent sex. Women are the violent sex. I'm going to show you two cases. This woman who got in an argument with her man, and when the argument was done, he was walking away. She went and stabbed him. And then here's this one where this poor guy who was minding his own business, uh, some drunk woman decided didn't like his face, and stabbed him with her stiletto. And guess what? She didn't get any punishment. Now, we'll get into it. Here's the poor guy <laughs> drowning in his own blood. Okay. Lying in a pool of his own blood and barely conscious after an unprovoked frenzied attack by this woman. The weapon. Notice she's still walking on free, everyone. A sky-high stiletto. Just stabbed me in the crown of my head. My son could have died. Kyle Johns' Saturday night out started just like any other, drinking with friends in Fortitude Valley. Around 2 a.m., they tried to get into a nightclub but realised one of his friends had lost his wallet. So the pair retraced their footsteps back to Chinatown and that's where Kyle encountered the woman that would turn his young life upside down. There you go. They're just trying to get his wallet, right? So they're minding their own business, right? Jasmine Fry, a complete stranger, full of booze and vile threats. <laughs> Her drunk boyfriend, for no reason, started shouting abuse at Kyle and his friend as they walked past. We're just like, man, like, just enjoy your night. Like, my mate just lost his wallet. Just, you go your way, we go our way. Yeah, see, see, the men are the ones who are passive, right? They, they're just trying to get, mind their own business. And, of course, it's this man who starts up, but guess what? She wants to see blood. This video, filmed by a witness, proves Kyle retreats and walks away. But Jasmine Fry goes after him, starts taking off her stiletto shoes and strikes. My first fear was my eyes, because uh, she said she was... Look at all the fear in this woman's eyes. These women really fear men, don't they? going to stab me in the eyes. Kyle was losing a lot of blood, rushed to hospital. He needed staples to put his scalp back together. You know why they're not afraid? For, there's no consequences, right? There's no consequences. His friend, if a man attacked him like that, his friend would have intervened and broke his skull. But he knows better. That he, he can't touch this woman who's trying to murder him. And here she is free. Do you realize your actions could have blinded him or killed him? Most certainly. Can you please take the camera away? But last week, a Brisbane court slapped her with a punishment less than a speeding fine. You're a very lucky girl. You got away with a $250 fine. And it Holy shit. $250 fine. This is straight out of a movie about the Middle Ages, where the nobility runs over someone's child with their uh, carriage horse and carriage, and then they, they give him a few dollars, the peasants a few dollars, say, get out of here, peasant. The reason this is happening, everyone, is because the men hear this and they don't do anything. You need a proper MRM in the country they're at to rush down and demand this woman get jailed, along with the judge who fined her a mere $250. Even more Sorry, but this is rage fuel. Insult to injury, no conviction was recorded. Devastated, to be honest. Yeah, they're not even going to hurt her or her employment, are they? they? Not only do they not punish this woman, they don't put her behind bars. They're not even letting people know she's a criminal. It's like, if the roles were reversed, would I be getting the same pretty much? Slightly? No, I know. I'm tired, officially, everyone, of hearing these rhetorical questions. These rhetorical questions asked 20 years ago should have been ended. She should be saying this woman needs to be put behind bars. I demand justice. On the wrist. The three wing circuits. It's a joke. I feel that we have been really let down. Until she was. You say it's not a joke, though. Everyone says these. They always say it's crazy. It's ridiculous. It's a joke. No, no, it's injustice. That's what it is. This is how people have to start framing these attacks on men by women. Their physical attacks, their false allegations, all the dirty things women do to men. 
sacked yesterday. Jasmine Fry was a property manager at Rainwhite Beanley. Why did you do it, Jasmine? Hey, and you know some guys? Property manager. This is a high-end woman, right? So you can't blame the fact that she was a druggie or that she was low, you know, like uh, gutter trash or any of that. This is what the average woman feels about the average guy. When she feels pissed off and she wants to take the sword to you, she can, right? It was a drunken act. It was my 21st birthday and it's not me. I don't know why I did it. I wasn't it is you. The alcohol knocks out the inhibitions. So she wanted to harm that boy, that young man, I should say. She wanted to. And I can see why, because you get away with it. In the right mind frame. Have you been out since? Most certainly not. I haven't even been drinking since. Social media suggests otherwise. Here she is. Wow, you can't even stop her lying. <laughs> so she, she's even going to lie boldface on camera. Look at all those afraid women there, right? Snapped drinking with friends before a music festival just weeks after the attack. Kyle is still too traumatized to be able to do the same. Jasmine Fry, I won't forget your name. Next time you could take... So what, Mom? You won't forget her name. Mom, what are you going to do about this? This is, this is virtual signaling from this coward. Sorry, just parents are cowards. She should be rioting with a bunch of protesters in the streets. If she really... <laughs> If she really meant what she said, she would have attacked this woman long ago. She said, oh, to attack one of my loved ones. No, no, screw this parent. Sorry, everyone. I hate that virtue signaling, that cover in your tracks. Now, here we're looking at the Evening Standard. Woman jailed after tracking her lover through the streets and stabbing, stabbing him to death. Okay, they had to put her behind bars because he died, right? This young man over here, he survived, right? So they said, oh, we can let the, the uh, nobility get a, a pass. But they actually had to do something. Now, a woman who tracked her partner through the streets, yes. Blaze Wallace, 28. Oh, they actually named her. Thank God. Thank God. Of Mullins Path, Richmond upon Thames, was found guilty of murder of Samuel Mayo following the trial, right? She was sentenced. That's good. Let's see. The jury heard Wallace and Mayo were a volatile, drug-fueled relationship after uh, lived together in a flat in Mullins Path. Right. They were in a volatile relationship, and she preferred it that way. She's volatile. She's violent. She did the stabbing, right? Now, the court was told that roughly 6 p.m., the pair were seen arguing by uh, Mort Lake train station. Right? There she is. They're happy. Look how happy they are. This is a couple who likes one another. But man, when the man does get uppity, it's death. That's what it is. Right? After the argument, she returned to the flat and the argument continued before Samuel, that's the guy, packed the bag and left. Right? So he had enough of her so he left. That's what men do, by the way. It's the men that do the retreating. Because the women, they, they never let go. They're the bulldogs. They're the violent ones, right? Okay. Wallace, that's her, picked up a kitchen knife again to follow him through the streets. CCTV picked up their journey. See, these women know that they're getting uh, photographed or, or you know, recorded. They don't give a shit. No fear whatsoever. She didn't feel her, fear her boyfriend. He left. She wasn't cowering. <laughs> she wasn't cowering in her apartment. She was pissed off. She caught up with him. 15 minutes later, they argued again, and Wallace stabbed him once before walking home. As pass passengers by rushed to help him. See, everyone was seeing what she saw what she did, and she just walked. You know why she walked? Because she, she felt justified. She felt justified. This is what your loved ones think of you. Man gets uppity. He deserves to die. Or at least get very painfully wounded, right? You don't, you don't start up with me, bitch. I'm the one who's in charge. 
I, I'd love to see her mugshot. Where is it? Is it up here? Wow, no tears or anything. She's not scared. Look, there's no fear. Look at the defiance in this woman's face. If I was a guard, I would be tempted to cold cock that bitch. Look at me like you're in the right. This is a tragic incident. Left Samuel's family devastated. He was convicted of his murder. But that will offer little comfort. Right. Those are just words. Just words, everybody. Just be glad this monster was thrown behind bars. The sad part is she'll probably be let out early because she minded her business in, in, in jail. And some guy will pick her up when she's through and take care of her. That's the sad part. I don't know if women actually ever get truly, you know, punished for their crimes. Okay. I could add one more. But the simple fact is, it's important to do these separately in separate videos. There's a third one I want to show too, but I'll do it in another video. Because what's happened is if you do multiple in the video, they get lost. Each one has to be shown. So I just want to show these two together, though these could have been a separate video on themselves. But just goes to show you this bullshit. They, who who actually is going to do the most domestic violence, right? They give this bullshit violence stat that 34% of women are killed by their partner and only 6%. This is horseshit because in, in actuality, when you see what's going on, what do you see? You see the women are the ones that break out and attack men and try to kill them, not the men. So know that's more horseshit. Okay, we'll end it here.